Hi, my name is Sammy Elliott, and this is my first year doing Science Fair. The title of my project is Which Type of Sunscreen Works the Best? The purpose of my project is to investigate which type of sunscreen will protect the beads best from the UV rays or ultraviolet rays of the sun. I learned a lot of interesting things, but some of the things that stood out to me the most are what SPF stands for, which is sun protection factor, that there are more than one type of UV, there are actually three, how sunscreen is tested, specifically waterproof sunscreen, they put it in a tub and wash water over it for a set amount of time, and that's how you know how long it will last in the water, that sunscreen is an old thing, and the first mention of it was the Egyptians, and that there have been many different varieties of sunscreen over the years, some of them really simple or some of them more complex, like a simple one would be olive oil, which had an SPF rating of 8, and a more complex one would be one that had shea butter in it to make it smell better. My hypothesis is the SPF 50 will work the best, and the bag with no sunscreen will work the worst. My independent variable is the SPF level and the type of sunscreen used, which is chemical. My dependent variable is what effect the sun has on the UV beads. My control variables are the amount of time in the UV light source. My constants are the location of the experiment, the UV light source used, and the tools for measuring the UV exposure. My main materials are three types of Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen, SPF levels 15, 30, and 50, four bags, a Sharpie, UV beads, a timer, and sunlight. I put exactly 30 beads into each of my four bags. Then I labeled the bags 0, 15, 30, and 50. Then I applied sunscreen on the outside of the bag so that all the beads were evenly covered. I left the beads out in the sun for 10 minutes. During, after my experiment, the green here is the SPF 50, and as you can see, it worked the best. And this blue right here is the bag with no sunscreen, and it worked the worst because it had the higher numbers. So zero would be no color change, and five would be the most color change. The 15 and 30 were in between, and their numbers were really similar and about the same. After my experiment, the SPF 50 did work the best and the bag with no sunscreen worked the worst, meaning that my hypothesis was correct. I learned a lot of interesting things, like I didn't know that UV beads were tested on humans instead of animals. I also didn't know that there have been hundreds, maybe thousands of sunscreens over the years. Many of them, all different textures. There were like powders, liquids, like spray on and like creams. If I did this experiment again, I would do it earlier in the year so that the UV was higher, and I would do another experiment in the tanning bed. Some of my possible errors or that the beads were not in the same place outside, and that each time I did the experiment and that the UV level was higher. Thank you for judging the science fair.